my god, I should have lost that. <laughs> I don't even understand what happened. Oh, that was a big mistake. He, he grabbed me out of the heavy shore, Yuka. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> oh, the, the memes are too strong. Oh, God, lucky there. Out Smurf. Okay, that was clean. Damn. And you'll notice a lot of stuff has changed. And this is something that I'll always try to do. Uh, going from one gear to another, uh, one of the biggest things that I'll always be doing is improve stuff, change stuff. Make sure that... Make sure that the content is is fun to consume, you know? And there's a lot of thoughts that go into that constantly. And there's a lot of stuff that happens in the background that you don't even notice. Um, particularly when I work on the code for something. It's usually to streamline or to... Um, to be more efficient at um, at something, to automate a process, for example. Uh, and th this isn't something you'll notice, but it'll help me make better content, essentially. A uh, Ryu beats Laura, but not by much. The so first of all, so the 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 message is completely useless to begin with. Um, but more importantly is, like, you, if you're telling your, your, like, people to not monetize the content because you need to be doing it out of a passion, it's really harmful because the moment you can monetize the content, that's the moment when you'll actually be able to, well, invest your time properly into it. And uh, the moment you can monetize it, that's when the content is going to become really good, right? So everyone benefits from you being able to monetize that content. I think it's like a big thing that a lot of people don't realize. You're not supposed to... You're supposed to uh, try your hardest to monetize the content. Because if you can do that, then, it, then, then and only then it becomes a possibility to have it as a real focus in your life. Ah, I need light DPOS there. I always have to make a decision, light DPOS or parry OS. I come the fu- the, what? That was unreal. No confirm nothing. It was pure madness. Yeah, like he keeps missing buffers. I feel. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how often he just messed you up the win. buffer and I got hit by it. I've always been, been convinced that every Ken from Rookie to Warlord is the same guy with 1,000 monitors in one room. Yeah, that's highly likely. He 
didn't pick up the Q. I wonder if he, he was trying to go for like a 200 IQ play or if he just didn't pay attention. I, I can actually parry on reaction. Let me cover this with a parry. Not potentially not even necessary. Yeah, because he keeps making the same mistake. <laughs> it's a bit too greedy to do that. Yeah, I shouldn't be I shouldn't be covering that. I should stay outside the range and whip punish. I think that's more Oh no no! <laughs> Ah, oh, man, it feels bad, man. <laughs> oh, what? No EXTP? <laughs> okay. Wow, he actually died off of that. Oh my god, that I did not think that was gonna stun. I am the Smurf Shark. Oh wow, right, I am the Smurf Shark. I'm the shark that hunts down Smurfs. You're right, I I am the Smurf Shark. Okay, got him good. Uh, what the hell was that? Oh my god! That was a disaster. got behind me right there. Really annoying. Ah, uh, what? Where's my DP? Oh, he mistimed it. Blanca aka Jimmy with Ryu tag is fighting against Ryu with the Jimmy tag. Yep, yep. And honestly, maybe that's not a coincidence. Maybe it's just a player who's trolling me. Because that's a really specific coincidence, you know? Perfect 
I think he died after that. <laughs> yeah, he did. God damn it. Okay, 15, let's go. If you feel like your opponent reacts to every fireball that they do, it's because you're probably not looking enough buttons on screen. I should know this guy's gonna have that. Wow, what a screw up! Ah! If I had done Donkey Kick, that would've worked. Okay, 16. Is the netco better today or how are you keeping the streak? No, I'm just godlike today. And yeah, like sometimes people will ask me to be a little bit more humble, you know? I always say I don't find being humble very, very satisfying. Like, I'm not a humble person. I like to be realistic, you know? Because if you're humble, what, what it means in a lot of cases is you're purposely underselling yourself to not look like a douchebag, you know? And uh, it's kind of interesting, and I think a lot of people appreciate that from a social aspect, but I don't, because I I've come to the realization that if people are too humble, then it's hard to tell what they actually think, and it becomes Time annoying for me. Uh, so I actually appreciate people who tell the truth more than people who are being on uh, humble but like being humble there are lots of different aspects about being humble the whole point of being humble is supposed to be uh, you you you're supposed to understand that you're not perfect that you can always improve and like it's supposed to be the humbleness is supposed to be about making sure you stay on the ground with your feet you know <laughs> I think that's why people ask uh, for others to be humble, right? When you're successful, you're not supposed to think you're not... It's it's dangerous to think that you're better than others, right? It's a dangerous mindset because you become arrogant and you become... You, you think... You start thinking that whenever th something goes wrong, it's because of someone else. You get into a mode where you don't take responsibility uh, for stuff, right? That's the danger danger of being, well, overly confident, let's say. Yeah, exactly. And like, so sometimes being humble is to protect other people's ego, right? And that's where I'm going to be like, no, screw that. Fuck you, you suck. <laughs> uh, I'm so humble. I feel really humble right now. As a player who picked uh, Ryu as his main, I would have changed his V-Skills because, in my opinion, they all lack a consistency aspect. No, actually, the parry is really consistent. They're both really consistent. Like, uh, Ryu's V-Trigger, uh, V-Skill 1 is a really consistent tool if you know how to use it. And V-Skill 2 is consistently bad, right? So, they certainly don't lack consistency either way. 
Uh, yeah, being humble is simply not being self-absorbed, arrogant. Right. Like, there are some really positive aspects about when, when someone says you should be humble, right? But when you're like, oh, I'm really good, then people are always going to be like, oh, you're not being humble, Jimmy. I'm like, no. No, I like being proud and happy that something is working out does not mean you're not being humble. Jimmy is a bad mannered show off. Exactly. I mean, just because I say I'm really godlike and you guys suck at Street Fighter doesn't mean I'm not telling the truth, you know? I'm still being humble. <laughs> uh, like right now, I feel really humble again, you know? Uh, uh. Oh, damn. <laughs> Like, I was thinking for a second, I can parry that. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna block that. <laughs> really? My EX Fireball was not fast enough for that? That looks like a lot of nonsense to me. Wow, that was a genius punish. Oh my god, I got lucky. Jesus. Oh, he didn't do a reversal, you see that? I covered reversal, but he literally just didn't do it. Okay, 19. Ah, uh, Mershid, the win streak killer. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna be so pissed if I lose here. Oh, let's go. Round one. Fight. I know for a fact, I just need to throw more fireball. That's okay. Mm, 
Mershit is the guy that I can't play the fireball game against because whenever I throw a fireball, I die. And so now he, it opens up the fireball game for him. See that? There's a curse against him. I don't know what it is, to be honest, but every time I throw a fireball, I die. So I generally... I don't know what to do. I, I'm confused. I legit did not see the jump. See? I knew I was gonna lose the win streak. I cannot win against Mershit. It's impossible. You lose. And I... Until this day, I don't know what it is. I did not see that one jump in early enough to react. When I blocked that one jump, I didn't anti-air because I didn't see the, the startup of that jump. So I'm assuming there is rollback. And I think the reason why I cannot win the fireball game is because it's only one side of rollback against him. I think I have a lot of one sided rollback against him because there's a lot of shit that I cannot react to at all against him, but he can. He punishes every fireball that I throw, every one. And it's so difficult for me to deal with that. And I think it's because of one sided rollback. He has a really easy time to anti-air as well, by the way. Yeah, see that? I cannot anti-air. Now, it's not my demon. Sometimes it's very easy to beat him, and I think it's every single time when there's no one-sided rollback, that's what happens. So, uh, there's a big discrepancy between the... The, the, sometimes I feel like I cannot beat him and I can't get a read and he gets every jump in on every fireball. And sometimes it doesn't feel like that at all. And I think it's because of one side of rollback. There's definitely a lot of rollback here going on. I think he does not have that. I think that's the issue. I'm, I'm really curious though, I would love to play him offline to confirm my suspicion. Because I generally can't tell if I'm just being crazy or not. <laughs> Maybe I'm not, be I'm not being humble, guys. I would love to see. Uh, it would be interesting to see if the same issue persists offline. Because if that's the case, then he's just a god Round at one. reading. <laughs> Fight. Hadouken. 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 Why would he do that? Why would he do a medium punch there? No parry attempt? I'm disappointed. I'm gonna jump and die. See that? I can't... I also cannot get the... The cross cut right there. It's definitely a sign of, of rollback. That the rollback is the issue right there. I've had multiple times where I couldn't get certain things that I really get easily against other players. Kill my own streak. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Mershit is a good player. 